Let's see another example. The Expo Limited purchased a plant for 270,000 on 1st January 2018 and incurred 30,000 on installation. So the cost comes to be 300,000. 270 plus 30,000. It started commercial production on 1st April 2018. Now, after three months, the useful life of asset is eight years. Depreciation charge on state line method. Here again, sometime in exam, the depreciation not on state line, but maybe reducing balance method. So we have to be very careful which method the, is, is being used by the company. Due to lack of demand, the utilization of plant reduced significantly that is a factor which affects the impairment. An impairment test carried out on 31st December uh, 2020, exactly after two year, two year, one hour, one year and nine months. Now here again, how much depreciation we charge for 11 and 12? So it depends what is the company policy. If they charge on use basis, then the first year they should charge only for nine months, and the second year they charge for 12 months. But in this case. We assume that they are following year end balance and the rate on that. The current selling price similar plant is 150,000 and cost to sell is 22,000. So if you want to sell it now, so you can recover only 120, uh, 150,000, but to sell it, you incur a cost of 22,000. The new cash flow in net cash flow in keeping use of for the next five years because three years have expired. Is first year is 50,000, second year is 40,000, third year is 30,000, fourth year is 2,000, and five year is 1,000. And I haven't mentioned here any residual value. If there is any residual value, that should be added to year five. Now, let's find out the impairment loss. Discount rate against 10% we used. Cost 300,000 and depreciation for three years. So, three years depreciation. 8 years life divided by 8 and then multiply by 3 so it comes to 112,500 so carrying value is 187,500 so this is simple disposable value when you want to sell it you are getting 150 minus 22,000 so the balance is 128,000 now we need to find out the use value also so in this case the use value here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the numbers are there. You multiply and you get the discounted values and the total present value of use is 128.90. Now here we compare the highest. Sales value is highest than the use value. So we compare, we compare look 187.500 and net disposable value. 128. So loss is 59,500. And this loss to be reported in the income statement for the year 31st December 2020. It is just like additional depreciation. Now, another important thing which you have to, I have to remind you that calculating these two values, recoverable value, that is important basically. And then comparing the well, current current carrying value in the balance sheet. The balance value in the balance sheet. We call them sometimes book value. So we see the book value, and then we compare the book value with a higher of the two. So if we, there is a reduction in the value, that is impairment. Now another important thing. The next year depreciation will be the life remaining five years. Three years have passed. So the next year depreciation will be the new value, 128 divided by 5, 25,600. And if you try to see what is the amount of depreciation now and what will be the amount of depreciation in last. Let, let me go back to this slide. Look here, if you divide by 300,000 by 8, so the depreciation is how much? Just calculate it, it's less, it, it's greater then the value here 25,600 that is 33 something 
and here it is 25600 so that is the impact in fact we our depreciation reduces when the assets carrying the recoverable value reduces and that is how they compensate thank you very much